So today I'm going to talk to you guys about diet pills. Who here, who here's done diet pills? I know I have. So let me share with you my experience with diet pills. So it started in high school. You remember Dexatrim? I used to buy those at Walmart and then hide them from my mother. By the way, um, I believe you had to be 12 years old to buy Dexatrim. Um, and then when I was in college, I was about 50 pounds heavier and I was ready to start feeling better about myself for spring break my senior year. And so I started taking Metabolife. And do you remember Metabolife? Um, Metabolife was made out of a substance called ephedra and ephedra is now illegal. Basically all of these diet pills, whether you get them from a doctor, whether you get them from the over the counter, whether it's ephedra or something else, guys, it's all amphetamines. It's all amphetamines. You know what else is an amphetamine? Um, crystal meth is an amphetamine. So, I mean, have you ever seen people who do cocaine or crystal meth or they're freaking skinny, right? It's because it speeds up your metabolism, speeds up your body's systems and you don't feel hungry. You don't feel those hunger sensations. And we all learned in elementary school to say no to drugs, right? That crack is bad. By the way, my dog is still trying to climb in my lap as I'm shooting this video for you guys. Um, so we all learned that crack is bad. But for some reason, as we got older, we thought that it was okay to justify it for weight loss. And as we're losing weight and we're not feeling hungry, it's easy to overlook it for the dark substance that it truly is because truly those things can can take over your life for real and you see people not eating for forever but anyway how did it manifest in my body what happened was was about a year after starting to take metabolife or maybe it was about six months later um i started developing bladder infections and i say quote bladder infections because every single time i went to the doctor um they found blood in my urine, but that was the only infection or there was the only sign of an infection that they were really getting. But it, the pain never went away. The blood never went away. They kept putting me on antibiotics, antibiotics, antibiotics. And so finally I went to a natural healing doctor, um, a, a Chinese medicinal doctor who practiced acupuncture and looking to find relief from my symptoms. And um, he was the very first doctor ever in a year who asked me, what's going on in your personal life and what are you putting into your body? And the reality was, is that I was, a, I was addicted to diet pills. I mean, I was addicted to diet pills and, and the thing that I did not, I mean, I'll never forget the day that, um, I'll never forget the day that I went off of Metabolite. I had drank, three or four monsters and I was still tired and it was literally it was like I was coming off drugs so worn out and what he taught me was was that that the bladder processes everything in the body the in the kidneys process all the chemicals out of the body so if you're constantly putting chemicals in the body it causes extra work for for the body's detox system. And because I had been doing it for so long, my kidneys were tired, my kidneys were shot. And so they were starting to cause blood happening in my urine because they just couldn't do their job well enough because I was stressing it out. Um, so so the, the, the reason why I share this with you guys is after what this doctor told me I needed to do is said that I needed to get off diet pills drink more water, start to use real butter, and start to practice yoga. And within six months, my symptoms were gone. So um, I truly believe that it had a lot to do with flushing my system from all of the chemicals and it giving it time to really relieve it. And then for me starting to do some deep breathing and energetically starting to clear out some of the emotional chaos that was going through my body. But the main point is, is that diet pills, 
all they end up doing is screwing up your metabolism and so therefore it makes it harder in the long run so avoid the chemicals it'll end up doing more damage to your body than it does good see you tomorrow